हेलो एवरीवन जे सी ई कनेक्ट आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द डिज़ाइन प्रोसीजर ऑफ टेंशन मेंबर्स सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव सीन हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द मेंबर फॉर द गिवन सेक्शन देर द सेक्शन वॉज गिवन वन फॉर दैट सेक्शन वी हैव बीन कैलकुलेटेड द स्ट्रेंथ सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोसीजर विल सी how the tension members can be designed for the given load okay so the design procedure here is step number 1 the step number 1 uh, first we need to find the required gross area for the given load find the required gross area to carry a factored load here the factored load will be given this load if suppose the service load or the working load is given you have to make it a factored then we have to uh, calculate the required area and that required area needs to be calculated considering the strength in yielding so this formula to be used to calculate the uh, required area so here this uh, the load will be this is a uh, strength of the member or the factored load will be given in a problem and for the given load we need to calculate the area required and step number 2 after calculating the area select a suitable shape of the section depending upon the type of the structure and the location of the member such that the gross area is 25 to 40% more than the ag calculated means whatever the area you calculate in step number 1 you increase that area by 25 to 40% and whatever the area you obtained after increasing 25 to 40% for that area you refer steel table and assign the section and this is just a factor of safety for the on safer side the 25 to 40% needs to be increased and whatever the area you get after increasing 25 to 40% on that area uh, of section uh, needs to be selected from the steel table then once you select the section then determine the number of bolts or a welding required so if it is a bolted connection calculate the number of bolts required to calculate number of bolts required we need to calculate first the bolt value here uh, then after calculating a bolt value then the load will be uh, known then load divided by bolt value gives you the number of bolts or you calculate the uh, length of the weld then arrange it so after calculating number of bolts then we have to arrange a Uh, in a chain pattern or a diamond pattern so after arrangement we need to calculate so first we have calculated area then for that area we have selected the section from the steel table then after selection we have calculated the number of bolts required for the connections then after getting a number of bolts we have, we have arranged that bolts in chain pattern or diamond pattern so once we have arranged then we need to check whether the section is safe or not safe in uh, three modes of failure so as we know the tension member will fail in three modes of failure that is a gross section yielding net section rupture and block shear strength so these three strength needs to be calculated for the assigned section that is strength due to gross section yielding tdg needs to be calculated then the strength due to net section rupture tda needs to be calculated and the block shear strength needs to be calculated for the assigned section if the assigned section giving uh, tdz more than the factored then it is safe if if it is in a rupture if it is more than uh, factored the load given then safe then the tdb also if it it comes out to be more than the given then it is safe that is in step number 5 what is given the strength obtained should be more than the factor tension so whatever the strength you calculate for the assigned section that is tdz td and tdb they should come more than the given load if it comes to be lesser than the given load then the section needs to be uh, redesigned the that is step number 5 the strength obtained should be more than the factor tension if it is too much on higher side if it means the section whatever you assign it should not be too much on the higher side if it is too much on the higher side or or the strength is less than the factored tension the section may be suitably changed and checked 
means whatever the it should not be uh, uh, uneconomical also so whatever the section you choose that should be economical and it should not give a too much on the higher side and also a too much on the lower side so judicially you need to select and suitably uh, checked then step number six is 800 2000 also recommends the check for the slenderness ratio of tension member as per the table 3 of is 800 2007 page number 20 where the slenderness ratios are being given so i'll show you in the code book the slenderness ratios page number 20 if you refer page number 20 so here they mentioned here so maximum effective slenderness ratio here so please go through this code book the maximum effective slenderness ratio that is kl by r values of beam strut or tension member shall not exceed those given in table number three where kl is the effective length of the member and r is the appropriate radius of gyration based on the effective section as defined in 3.6.1 okay then here some of the slenderness ratios are been given so please refer code maximum values of slenderness maximum values of effective slenderness ratios here the member give a member carrying compressive loads resulting from dead loads and imposed loads the maximum effective slenderness ratio should be 180 a tension member here it comes the tension member a tension member in which a reversal of direct stress occurs due to loads other than the wind or seismic forces 180 a member subjected to compression forces resulting only from combination of with wind or earthquake actions provided the deformation of such member does not adversely affect the stress in any part of the structure that is 250 so likewise the slenderness ratios are been given here so you with respect to this we need to calculate the slenderness ratio for the assigned section so many times what happens in a tension member there there could not be any uh, buckling action but it is only possible whenever the load get reversed means the tension become compression compression become tension in such cases we need to know the slenderness ratio of that particular member so for that reason we need to calculate the slenderness ratio of uh, tension members so this particular aspect also uh, needs to be checked while designing the uh, tension members so this is the procedure so you need to follow so with the design procedure you follow this procedure and uh, in next part of my lectures i'll be taking a one design problem and you'll understand these all steps given here that is step number one in step number one i'll, I'll repeat in step number one we need to calculate first the area for the given load and whatever the area you calculate you increase that area by 25 to 40 percent then for that increased area you select a suitable section from the steel table then after selecting a suitable section from the steel table take the properties of the that section then calculate the number of bolts or the weld uh, means uh, it depends upon the type of uh, or the what um, whether you are providing a bolt bolts or the weld it depends if you are providing a bolts calculate number of bolts if you are providing a weld calculate length of the weld and arrange it and bolt uh, bolts to be calculated based on the bolt value calculate a bolt value then calculate number of bolts once you get the bolts and uh, section assigned then just you connect it and then arrange the bolts then after arranging the bolts calculate that section whether the that assigned section is safe or not by calculating the, the three modes of failure strength that is strength due to yielding strength due to rupture strength due to block shear these these are the three modes of failure the strength of these three modes needs to be calculated for the assigned section then if the strength comes out to be more than the given load then it is safe if not coming just to uh, revise the section and once again do checks okay so the last step needs to be followed is you need to calculate the slenderness ratio of, of the uh, tension members so this is a procedure you need to follow thank you